Good morning, everybody. Hey, what's going on? It's Mark. I am. Uh, I'm here at Mofit. It is Saturday morning. All of the uh, yoga hippies just left. <laughs> I love calling them that. Uh, yoga. We do yoga uh, Saturday mornings here at uh, seven from seven to eight with our amazing coach and yoga instructor Corey. We had a wonderful turnout this morning. Uh, here's a shot of them. It looks like they're all sleeping, and they they pretty much are at this point. This is right at the end of the uh, of the uh, class. Okay. Anyway, um, we just I did a body scan with one of our members, uh, Colin, this morning. It was his second in-body scan for, his, for the nutrition part of his fitness journey. And it went extremely well. Uh, and I did two, two in-body scans with a couple of our members' uh, personal training clients last night. And those two scans and the scan I did with Colin this morning were all just amazing textbook examples of different areas of nutrition and where fitness and strength training and protein all come all come together and so I wanted to, to spin up this quick video I'll try to keep this as quick as I can to illustrate three different examples of how the work you put into your fitness journey and losing weight and gaining muscle and the discipline required to get the proper amount of protein really 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 matters I'm gonna show you three different examples of what that means so uh, here's the first one let me go to this screen I want to share this one this one is, okay, not enough protein. So this is one of the scans from last night. If you look at his trend over time, he started with us in March, back in uh, on March 6th of this year. Then he did a scan in May and August and then yesterday. So November 3rd there, that was yesterday. Look at the amount of protein. What's up, Karen? Look at the amount of protein uh, or his muscle mass from the August scan to the November scan. So he went from 90 pounds, 90.8 pounds down to 86.2 pounds. That was from August until yesterday. But also notice the bottom graph there. He's lost 2% body fat, body fat percentage. That's, two, that's not two pounds of body fat. That's two percentage points of body fat that he went down. That's amazing. That's great. That is our goal. But our primary goal is to lose the body fat without also losing the muscle mass at the same time. It's a win if the muscle mass even stays the same, right? And in his case, it didn't stay the same. And I had given him a protein target to eat every day. I don't remember what it was, but it was probably around 120 or 130, 140 grams of protein, somewhere, somewhere in that range, right? So I, I looked at the scan. I looked over the top of the paper at him. I said, how's it, how's it going with the protein? Because I could tell that it wasn't going well with the protein. How's it going with the protein? And he said, oh, it's good, good. I'm, I'm eating plenty of protein. I said, you're tracking it. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so how many grams of protein are you eating every day? And he said, like 70. Well... There you go. That's what happened. You've lost the weight. And that's great. But you haven't maintained or gained the muscle mass. So part of that, he went from 229 pounds down to 211 pounds in three months. Fine. But um, part of that muscle loss was four, four of those pounds were muscle, unfortunately. And so now I've hopefully convinced him to start eating enough protein uh, during the day and We'll see if that can make a change. Okay, now let's go to the next one. This is another really awesome example. Um, let's find the right one. Excuse the noise. The doors are open. Okay, so this one, this is a This is the same guy's wife. Okay, this is his wife. They come in and train together. Uh, look at all the same dates at the bottom there of, this, of the scans. March 6th, and then again in May, and then in August, and then yesterday, November 3rd. Okay, so if you look at the skeletal muscle mass, it's increased. And then between the last two scans, it has leveled out 69.2 in both scans. That is a, that's huge. She went from over the last, from August to November, she went from 26 and a half uh, percentage points of body fat to 23.6 percentage points of body fat. So she lost almost 3% body fat without losing any muscle. She is eating, clearly eating the right amount of protein. And they're also coming in here and busting their asses every time we train together. They're working hard. And that they're not only working hard, but they're, she is employing the right amount of discipline to, to eat the protein that she needs to be eating. This is awesome. I mean, both of these scans are great. Both of them, they're losing weight. They're losing body fat. One lost muscle. The other one didn't. One's eating enough protein. The other one isn't. Very, very, very clearly obvious on these two scans. Okay, one more. One more to show you. And this is the one that came in this morning. Um, and for all of you that, that come here, this is Colin. We all know Colin. Colin's really cool. Okay, Colin's actually doing our next Friday's uh, workout. So here it is. This was Colin's scan. For example three, I gained weight. Good. Okay, so before we even looked at the sheet, he stood on the scale and he went up five pounds. <laughs> he, he, gained, he gained five pounds, right? And 
without diving into why most people on the planet would go, oh, shit, I gained five, damn it, I gained five pounds. This is bad. This isn't working. I'm doing all this work. And I'm doing, you know, I'm busting my ass. I'm sweating and I'm, you know, uh, I'm throwing up and, and it's not doing any, it's not doing me any good. I've gained five pounds. Well, no. Look, he went from 88 and a half pounds to 91.1 pounds of muscle. He gained that much muscle, which is incredible because he has a ton of muscle already anyway. I don't have the whole top part of his skin in there, but he has got a lot of muscle. So to gain three pounds of muscle, almost three pounds, is crazy. That's awesome. And he's eating a lot of protein. He's also coming in here four times a week and killing himself. I mean, that not killing himself. Um, he's working extremely hard. Killing himself has a negative connotation. Let's go with he's busting his ass, okay? But also look at his body fat percentage. He lost three-tenths of a percent of body fat over that same period of time. So he's lost body fat and gained three pounds of muscle uh, from August until, until today. That's crazy good. In this case, he gained weight. Unfortunately, his BMI is going to go up as well. But we all know BMI is bullshit. So, yeah, who cares? His BMI will eventually. See, what eventually is going to happen with Colin here is um, his body fat, as his muscle mass goes up, his metabolism is going to increase. His The ease at which his muscle mass will go down will increase. So it will be easier for that muscle mass to continue to go down. I'm sorry, body fat percentage, God, not muscle mass. As his muscle mass increases, the body fat will will reduce easier. It'll take less work for the same amount of fat to to go away as he gains the muscle mass. So he gained weight. He gained five pounds. But what's crazy is when he, he stood on the scale, before he even got on the scale, he said, I think I've gained weight, but my clothes are fitting better. Think about that. He gained weight, but his clothes are fitting better. And that shows up exactly right here. He said that before we did the scan, and I knew exactly what the scan was going to look like. He gained muscle, and he lost fat. Turns out he gained a lot of muscle, which is crazy for somebody who already has a bunch of muscle. But uh, he did, and he lost the body fat on top of that as well. So that's it. That's what I wanted to uh, share with you in this quick video. It's super important. This is what we do here at MoFit, too. So uh, we do these body scans. We don't just say, come in here and work out. Make sure you eat good. We... Do the we do this body scan? We look at the data, and then you know with sciency stuff, and we say eat this much protein, don't eat this many calories, and uh, if you need help, you know a little self self promotion here. We also have an app that can do that for you, that can help you treat. We program in your calories and your and your protein. Um, eat the protein, don't eat the calories, and you have a nutrition coach here at MoFit that can see everything you're doing, and you know on a regular basis we can text you right through the app and say great job you know you're killing your protein or you know three days this week you know you didn't quite hit it um here's a list of more foods with protein that might help you that you hadn't even thought of right maybe something like that so you have a nutrition coach actually looking over your shoulder and um that's uh that's something cool that we do anyway enough of that um this video is way longer than i meant for it to be everybody have a uh, wonderful rest of your weekend